Kevin society is a tyranny moderated by assassination. Bagrian, an ancient scholar who was assassinated by the Skaven. All copies of this quote were destroyed, except as of yet this one. The Second Skaven Civil War was started when the Red Pox failed the Skaven under Empire. Bretonia and Talea were the two primary targets of Skaven. The pathogen was spreaded by dirty water. Usually, this would have taken a lot longer to spread, and in fact it did. It took seven days to kill. What it would do is it would resort your own insides into like a mush. Just nothing but a paste inside your own body. It would put blistering bloody warts on your face. This plague was meant to make people suffer, not to kill them quickly. But after the plague ran its course in Talea and Bretonia, specifically in Brion and Talea's capital, Tilia, the Skaven tried to actually invade these lands. But in doing so, the Wood Elves united with the Bretonian forces and pushed the Skaven back into their holes. Now, to the Wood Elves, and to Bretonia and Talea, Skaven are nothing more than just beast men who are rats. That's it. They don't understand that the Skaven aren't beast men. They don't understand that Skaven are actually much more dangerous than the beast men. All they know is that all of a sudden, massive swarm of rats come out of the forest and attack them. They didn't link the plague to the rats. After losing, and after their plan failed, many were questioning Clan Pestilence on the effectiveness of their diseases. And, after losing, no one knew who to blame. Because on one hand, Pestilence's plague didn't do as much work as it did before with the Black Death. On the other hand, the Pestilence were looking at other people who didn't partake in the invasion. Other Skaven clans who decided to withhold their forces instead of putting everything they had into these invasions. So, the Skaven had to assemble the Council of Thirteen to see what they can do about this matter. What can they do to maybe get back onto the world? Or maybe, who do they have to eliminate to get the weakness out of their under-empire? This took threats, assassinations, political maneuverings, bribes, blackmails. And all this was an effort to just bring the council together to vote on this matter. Now when they came, the council couldn't really vote on a decision because Clan Pestilens quickly stood up with many warlord clans backing them and declared the Lord of Decays to be heretics and tried taking over the capital of Skaven Blight. War was on the horizon. The albino guard defending the temple of the great horned rat fought off plague monks and countless, if not thousands of other clans trying to claim Skaven Blight as their own. But one clan, Clan Scryer, the clan that is the best technology, had foresaw this event and used their technology and their warp wizards to claim the town by putting tactical jeziles on city roofs to put rattling guns in the streets. But their effort was in vain to quarantine the outbreak. It was far too late. Already this massive civil outbreak had spread throughout all of the under empire. Full war was ensured and Skaven Blight was now under the firm control of Clan Scryer. But even though the capital is under their rule, they were not strong enough to defeat the other clans. And the three major clans were Scryer, Clan Pestilens, and Molder. Now, these three weren't anywhere near strong enough to take each other out, or even strong enough to take out the dozens of other factions that were vying for their own thing. Now, what about Clan Eshin? Clan Eshin, the ones who ended the first civil war, what happened to them? Well, because their loyalty was assured to the Council of Thirteen, the Council of Thirteen doesn't exist anymore. The Under Empire is gone. So Clan Eshin stayed neutral, hiring their services out to everybody. This went on for 400 years. 
Skaven Blight became a massive industrial zone for Clan Scryer. With this massive industrial zone, they were able to build a lot of things. Things that they've never even thought of before. No one ever thought of mass producing doom wheels. That was until Skaven Blight was turned into this massive industrial fucking powerhouse. They were just producing weapons, producing armor, producing everything. This gave Clan Scryer a huge edge in maintaining control of Skaven Blight. And with this firm control of Skaven Blight, they were able to put rattling guns on every gate, putting warp fire throwers everywhere. They were able to make sure that this town was not going to be attacked ever again. Never would a clan cause such uprising inside Skaven Blight. This made Skaven Blight a very impossible target for the other clans. Not that the other clans even cared. Most of them actually only cared about the Temple of the Horned Rat. That's all they cared about. They could give less of a shit about the other city. They just cared only about that one location in the city. Because that is where the Great Horned Rat own followers, the Grey Seers, live. And if you're a clan Pestilens, you hate those people. You want to kill those motherfuckers. You want to make that Horned Rat Temple yours. So that way you could spread the true teachings. If you're a clan Mulder, you don't give a shit. You just know that you want that temple only because that way it brings you closer to the Great Horned Rat's vision. Clan Scryer, on the other hand, had control of it, so they knew ahead of time everything that the Gracers were laying out. Problem was, is that this industrial complex did not last. In fact, chaos was starting to invade again. And when chaos was rising, it emitted a much uh, amount of dark magic. Dark magic, which the Gracers noticed. Clan Scryer also took notice. No one else took word of it, though. And this is what led Clan Scryer to already know what the Gracers were planning. With this much magic roaming in the world, many deadly things could be done. All wizards are now much, much more deadly. In fact, because of all this dark magic, the Gracers realized this war has to end now. It's been fun, 400 years killing your opponents, 400 years openly slaying one another instead of riling on trickery and backstabbing. No, now this war needs to end. Chaos is definitely on the move. So the Graciers went into action to end the war. What they did was they went to every stronghold, every clan, every nest lair, and asked every faction, come to the annual Vermintide Festival or suffer the wrath of the Great Horned Rat. None dared to not show up, but being afraid of ambush or trickery, they sent representatives. Now, this is the second time in history that all the Skaven clans were assembled in the Great Horned Rat's temple in Skaven Blight. When they were all assembled inside the temple, 169 Graciers pushed out and entered into the chamber. 169 Graciers is not just a magical number. They didn't just imagine this number on top of their head. 169 is 13 times 13. 13 is the number the sacred number, the unholy number of the Great Horned Rat. And with these Grey Seers came 169 slaves. The Grey Seers started to squeak and squeak some more in a chant. And while they were all chanting, the slaves started to scream in agony. And with their screams, the great bell of the Horned Rat's temple started to chime. Each slave died one by one. And at the end of it, the 13th chime came. And once it came, the bell magically stopped ringing. All that was left was a giant hole 
in reality. Staring above their heads was this void, and inside this void, two red eyes peered from it, gazing at the scared, shitless Skaven. Half of them dropped to their knees immediately, trying to bury their nose in the sand to hopefully praise this god figure of theirs. Others, their hearts exploded from the sheer shock and terror of seeing the horns, seeing the yellow teeth, seeing the hand reaching out from the void. This hand picked up a handful of Skaven and put them into his mouth, screaming as he devours them. Only the screams could be heard when his mouth opened to take another bite. The pain that was going on in Skaven Bly at this time was an insane amount. Finally, though, the great horned rat stopped eating. And he left. But before he left, he told them that their wars no longer were amusing. Now they need to be unified if they are going to inherit the world. So, he reinstated the Council of Thirteen after 400 years of its absence. And in the place of where he once was eating his Skaven followers, he left a 13-sided warpstone pillar Each side had runes engraved on it, and each side had commandments that are always changing, always scheming. This were the rules that the Great Horned Rat had put down. On this pillar, if you lay your hands upon it, you are blessed by the Great Horned Rat, and you have the chance to become a Lord of Decay, one of the members of the Council of Thirteen. The first Skaven to touch this pillar was Lord Rackin. He died, bursting in flames of black fire. He was screaming the whole time, too. Not until there's nothing left but ash. Some even say that the ash was still screaming somehow. But he wasn't the last. Many Skaven, countless Skaven, thought that they were either the ones to do it, or their lord set them up to touch it anyways. And each one touched the pillar, each bursting into flame. But some didn't. Some did not burst into flame. They became the lords of decay. Now, you would think after all the positions were filled, there would be no more Skaven to touch the pillar. Nope. More Skaven touched it. Even now, there's still Skaven touching the pillar. Some die, some don't. Now, what happens to those that don't die? Well, they have a chance to challenge one of the Lords of Decay for his position on the pillar. And in doing so, he has a chance to become a Lord of Decay if he wins the fight. Of course, this hasn't changed in hundreds of years. So this particular... 12 Lords of Decay are rather dangerous, skeeving, the ultimate skaven. Now, I know I said the pillar has 13 sides to it, and each side is a seat of the council. So why is there only 12 Lords of Decay if others are allowed to touch the pillar and survive? Well, that last side... It was reserved for the Great Horned Rat himself. None have ever challenged his position. None ever will. But he is always there on the council, always having the last say in the matter. And that ended the Second Skaven Civil War. Alright, Freezer 700 here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, buddies, because pretty soon we're going to hit 100 subscribers. We're doing really great right now. I'm really proud of all of you. I am so thankful for all your support. But just hit that comment, hit that like, hit the subscribe, and don't forget to tell your friends about me. Now, if there's anything you think I should improve or something that you want me to cover, 
let me know down in the comment section below and I'll get right back to you. I will always reply to it. Besides that, have a great day and enjoy my channel for whatever content you think is great.